Hey, what is going on everyone? Welcome back. In the last video, we added functionality to all of our buttons with the exception of the equals button. Now what I'd like to do in this video is actually adding some logic to our equals button. So when the user actually places in an expression within our display, it's able to calculate the answer for that expression. So let's get started. All right, so in order for our calculator app to actually be able to evaluate the expression that the user places within our display up here, we're gonna need a third party library that will be able to evaluate the string equation that the user places in. The reason we need a third party library to do this is because Java can evaluate an equation when it's in a string. So what we're gonna be using is something called MX Parser. You can type in mathparser.org and come down to this little button and click MX Parser dash downloads. I'll just throw a link down in the description below so you don't have to do any of that. Then we're gonna scroll down and then click this big download button right here. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna download a zip file with all the .jar files that we need in order to use this library. So once it finishes downloading, we're gonna show it in the folder. Now you can extract this wherever you'd like. Since I'm running this on an emulator so I can show you guys how to download this, I'm just gonna extract it all right here. But normally you will want to extract this into a designated folder. So we'll extract that all. And then this new file will pop up. We're gonna click in here click the bin. Then once we're in the bin folder, we're going to pick the JDK that we're using. I believe I'm using JDK eight. Then we're going to want to copy this dot jar file. Then once you have your dot jar file copied, make your way back over to Android studio. Then we're going to come over to this far left panel at the very top. Right now we have Android selected. What we want to be selected is this project setting right here. And then these three new folders will come up. We're going to expand our basic calculator folder, the app folder, and then you'll see we have this libs or library folder. This is where we're gonna to wanna to paste that .jar file. So we can right click, come down and click paste, and then just click okay. We can expand our library folder. And then what I wanna do is right click on this, come all the way down, and we're gonna to wanna to add this .jar file as a library. Then if you see right in the middle, we have this little window that pops up. It says create library, hit okay. And then what this is gonna do is it's gonna add this library within our project. This can take a little bit of time, so I'll come back when this finishes. So once everything finishes up, come back over to the far left panel and change this project back to Android. Then to make sure that the library was installed correctly, we're gonna go over to our mainactivity.java file, scroll all the way up, and what I wanna do is import the library. So the library that we need to import is org dot whatever this is dot math dot mx parser and then we want to import everything in there so we're going to finish it off with a colon if you're able to type this line and you don't have any errors popping up you should be good to go all right so now that we added the library that will allow us to evaluate the user's expression that they place within our display we need to actually add the logic within to our equals button so if we come down to the equals button method we can add this logic within there so the first thing i want to do is grab the equation that the user placed within our display and store that within a string so we're just going to call this user expression and we're going to set that equal to we have our display we need to grab the text from that display and then we're going to convert that text to a string then if you remember at the beginning of this series we use special characters for our division multiplication symbols what we need to do is replace the division with a forward slash and the multiplication symbol that we used with an asterisk this guy right here the way we can do that is by setting the user's expression equal to user expression dot replace all. And what this function is gonna do, it's gonna go through and find all of our division symbols that we used. So the alt code for the division symbol that we used was alt 0247. So it's gonna look for this symbol right here. And then it's gonna replace that with this forward slash. So that'll replace all of our division symbols. And now we need to do the same exact thing, but for the multiplication symbols this time. So we'll go user expression again, dot replace all and then instead of our division symbol we need to replace that with the multiplication symbol that we use which was alt 0215 comma and then we need to replace that with the asterisk so all this code right here is doing is just formatting our string so that mx parser is actually able to evaluate the user's expression so now that we have the user's equation formatted in a way that MX Parser can actually read and evaluate that expression, we can actually use MX Parser to calculate the answer. So the way we can do this is by creating an expression within MX Parser. You just use the expression class. We'll call it EXP. And then we're gonna create a new expression. And then we're just gonna pass in the user's expression that they typed into our display. And then down here, we're gonna create a new string. 
we're going to call this result. And then this result is going to be string dot value of, and then whatever the result is of the user's expression. So we'll go exp dot calculate. And this is all built in within the library that we just installed. And then after we calculate whatever the answer is for the user's expression, we need to update our display. The way we can do that is by typing in display dot set text. And we're going to set the display text to whatever the result was from calculating the user's expression. And then don't forget, we also have to update the cursor. So display dot set selection. And then we're going to set that to the results length. So it sets it all the way to the end of the answer. All right, so that should be everything we need for our calculator to run and actually evaluate in an expression that the user places within our display. So if we save this, come up to the top right hand corner and click this play button, we can wait for our app to load and we can test some basic equations to make sure that MX parser is evaluating them correctly. So let's just try a simple one plus one and we should get two, which we do, we get 2.0. We could try something a little bit more complicated. So if we did something like five minus two, times nine, and then maybe we could just square that. Hit enter, and we get 729. We can also do things with negative, so if we did negative four times five, we should get negative 20, which we do. We can times that by negative one, and then get a positive 20. And we can also do things with decimal points, so if we did 5.5 times that by two, we get 11. All right, so it looks like we finally finished up this calculator app. This series has been really long, but we're finally done. What I'd like everyone to do now is leave a comment down below on any idea that you have on how to make this app a little bit more interesting or customizable for the user. Now, what I'd like to do is go through the comments, maybe pick one of your ideas and show you guys how to implement that in a new video. What I was thinking is maybe adding a little settings tab up here and allowing the user to possibly change the theme or maybe change the colors of the buttons so they can make the calculator a little bit more of their own. Well, if you guys made it this far in the series, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you guys in the next video.